In Quebec's language watchdog has targeted one of Montreal's most popular restaurants. And it's because of the word pasta. Buonanotte on Saint Laurent got a letter from the OQLF saying their menu violates the French language charter because pasta is an Italian word and there's no French translation. The government wanted this Italian restaurant to use uh, the word pot, that's French for pasta, instead of pasta. That's correct, yeah, and it caused a huge outcry uh, in Quebec, in beyond that in Canada. In fact, all over the world, there were headlines and they were kind of mocking headlines. You know, they used terms like the language police and they talked about linguistic puritanism, that kind of thing. And the pasta incident is now pretty much universally known in Quebec as Pasta Gate. Mayor Stéphane Gentron, he's the mayor of a small town called Huntington. The town of Huntington in Quebec is just a few miles north of the New York border. It's a small mill town founded by the British. The mayor of Huntington, Quebec, says his town is under attack and bilingualism in the community is the reason. The town's council voted to refuse to comply with Bill 101, which states that French is the only official language. But as CTV's Maya Johnson reports, the mayor claims vandals are now trying to intimidate him. New websites and Facebook groups call Gendron a traitor to the Québécois. They're encouraging people to take pictures of bilingual signs and file complaints with the OQLF. Over the weekend, vandals sprayed graffiti on Gendron's home and on his wife's car. They're so insecure that they want to attack us. And uh, it's like uh, an underground war. This is uh, intellectual terrorism that is going on in Huntington. Many businesses, like that Italian restaurant, have come forward saying they're being targeted by language inspectors for using foreign words, like the words on and off, discovered on a restaurant microwave. Pull our photocopier. Yup, it turns out the start and stop buttons are too English. What do you think about that? Crazy. What, what difference is it going to make? This whole issue about language is, is ridiculous. You know, there's a feeling of insecurity in Quebec that drives me crazy. I say to my own children, if you have a chance to leave that province, go. Go! Go somewhere else. You have the world. Don't be stuck in that little mind, that simple mind of, oh, I'm insecure. The English did so bad to us. Oh, no, that's not, this is false history. I'm fed up of that. I'm fed up of that. And I think the new generation is fed up too. Uh, so are you suggesting that this is kind of payback, what's taking place right now? Yes, yes. You see, even in history, there's a tendency to, to portray the poor French Canadians as abused by the English ruler, which is wrong. If we have democracy today, it's because we got it from Britain. How come you think this way and, and a lot of other French Quebecers don't? I was like that uh, 15 years ago, you know, when I was a teenager. Puis troisièmement parce qu'on a été un peu opprimé, puis on n'a jamais eu la chance de se relever complètement, puis euh... I think history has been bad to us. I think uh, we've been oppressed by uh, the the monarchy uh, in the past. It's not acceptable, he says, to have them come here and sing in the language of the colonizer. Uh, my parents were strong separatists, but my parents uh, had no education. Eh? They never uh, traveled outside Quebec. Uh, they were afraid of everybody, especially the, 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 the dirty, bad English. And I was raised like that, like many Quebecers. Eh? And I went to school. I went uh, to a college. Uh, I studied in Boston. Eh? I traveled. And uh, I discovered that uh, this is, this is uh, not the reality, eh? that Canada is a nice place to, to live. Huh? I went to Calgary uh, five years ago, and I was amazed. They don't aid us. I think they're fed up by Quebec always complaining about something. Eh? We're a poor province, eh? by the way. We're collecting money from the other provinces to, to have everything, and we're still yelling. Where has all the money gone? To Quebec, apparently. And we're talking federal equalization payments to the provinces. We look at, at from 1957 until now, and out of $510 billion handed out in equalization payment, 
Quebec has received roughly half of that amount, that is to say $253 billion. And uh, so you see here again, an inflation adjusted $2,011. People who are good at math and statistics will understand what that means, but this is just a simpler method of accounting. Uh, we see the equalization, yes, yes. In fact, Quebec taxpayers have also paid into uh, equalization about $107 billion out of those $500 billion that were handed out to provinces. This works out, by the way, per tax, uh, Quebec taxpayer to uh, $2.36 for every dollar paid in. I would like to say to the Office of the Langue Française, please get a life.